You've heard of positive thinking. You've heard of negative thinking. But you've likely never heard about the only kind of thinking that really and truly matters, accurate thinking. Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman, and I'm really grateful you joined us here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. See, in the Metaphysical Ministry, we're looking at the world as it really exists. And to do that, you have to be allowing yourself to observe what's going on in ways beyond your five physical senses. Because you can only sense less than 1% of the reality that's out there. So we begin every week with a happy share. Now a happy share is how you create the habit of happiness. It's looking for things in your life that leave you feeling good, that leave you feeling peaceful, that leave you feeling happy, true happiness, which we've spoken about before. So my happy share this week is I have formally announced the launch of my book, Thrive, Don't Just Survive, which is the story of the two traumatic brain injuries that left me with an altered brain, an altered body, an altered functioning, and what I do to reinvent myself and make life absolutely amazing. Anyway, I've spread the word on that, and I've got people working with me to make it a big event because it is the biggest event, one of the biggest events of my life and certainly the most important book that I have written. Oh, and by the way, for those of you who are local or want to fly into the Boise Airport, that happens Friday, May 2nd, 2014. So, what is this that I'm talking about accurate thinking? You see, events are. Well, I shared that with you before. Events don't have any meaning unless you give them a meaning. And if you survey a hundred people observing one single event, some of them will think it's good, some of them will be neutral, some of them will think it's a bad, a sad, or an awful thing. Fact is, a hundred people will give you a hundred different recitations of what actually happened because it's what goes on up here. It's how you run your head that determines the spin you put on the event. Now, when people talk about positive thinking, and, well, you know what positive thinking is for most people. It's looking at an event that they probably aren't happy about, which means they're already running energy inside. That's a low-frequency, yucky energy. But they're sugarcoating it. So that, let's say, I'm an artist and sometimes I work with gold leaf. So whatever material I'm working on, which is often a piece of paper for the art I'm creating, I then put the gold leaf over it. But the fact is, underneath, it's still just a piece of paper that I've decorated. So it doesn't make it anything special. It doesn't make it a good piece of paper. It doesn't make it a fancy, expensive piece of paper. It's still just a piece of paper under that gold leaf. And that's what people do when they say, let's think positive. They know how they feel about the event, and they're trying to cover it up with words that they think, or they're mostly trying to convince themselves, makes it look bad and turn out better and raise their frequency. Oh, come on. If you're one of the people who does that, you know darn well your frequency is not changing. Events just are. You assign the meaning to them. And here's the thing. When people, when you assign the meaning to something, you're creating a story about the event. And you tell yourself the story about what happened so often that you forget the actual event. You forget the facts without any subjective opinions. You forget the facts of what happened. You live in your story. And your story is probably something that's very painful. So when I was growing up, my family went through a, a turnaround in our wealth. So when I was 
very little. We were fairly wealthy. We even had a living maid and cook and all that kind of stuff. But then something happened, and my dad's company went out of business, and he was one of the partners, and we no longer had everything. Now, I didn't know all that. As a little kid, I didn't comprehend it. But what happened was my brother had had all these amazing, amazing toys. You know, he had the erector set. He had the piano lessons. All this stuff that I really wanted, and I didn't get to have any of it. I didn't know it was because we had to turn around in our finances. I just thought, he's first born, he's a boy, and in Judaism at that time, only boys were really important. I grew up with that story in my head. Can you imagine? What kind of stories are you harboring that are keeping you so darn stuck in hurt? Why don't you go down there and share them with us? Or share them in your journal and find another way to look at them, change your perspective to see, well, what actually happened? What if I erase the feelings I attach to it? It doesn't have to hurt me any more. And you can make a major life change that easily. If you are on our webpage, Metaphysical Ministry International.com, look up there. You'll see a page called Hold the Space for. If there's something in your life that you'd like to make part of your reality that's not there now, go ahead. Go down there. Tell us what it is. And I'll put it up on the page. Come back at least once a week. Read each name and what they've requested. And tell your family and friends to do the same. You don't have to know who the people are. The universe does. Just read them. And you'll turn that small form that's a request from one person into a bigger and a bigger and a bigger one catches the attention of the universe and maybe maybe you'll get it even sooner I'm so glad that you came by here today if you haven't done so already going over there get your copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path and I really appreciate you going down there leave me a comment Ask any questions that you have and what you would like to see as a topic of discussion so we can actually get a discussion going. And I appreciate your clicking like and share. Let other people know we're here. The reason this ministry is online is because I couldn't find a place where people share the belief system that I have. And I found other people online. And by doing it as a video, you get to come and share with us when it works for you. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You have a place to call home. So this week, I wish you the discovery of the event of the truth. I wish you the discovery of the truth that events just are. And you choose how you feel about them. Stories will take the joy out of life, will keep you from finding happiness, and will never let you be truly healthy. So I wish you a week of discovering how to see the truth just as it is without assigning the meaning and very many blessings.